Hello again. Have you ever purchased a software product um, that uses SQL Server or SQL Express on the back end to collect the data? And the software product actually does everything they said it would do and it works great. However, uh, over time you've collected a lot, a lot of data and the software product didn't give you the ability to um, delete the data. So you're going to keep growing and growing and growing in that database. Well, if you do have a product like that, we've got a solution for you. Uh, we call it the PCS DB Health Assistant. It does a lot of things. It backs up your database, manages your transaction log, checks the overall integrity of your database, re-indexes your data files. It does everything for you so that you don't have to worry about it, and it'll warn you if uh, any problems do arise, like if you're about to run out of disk space or if there's something structurally wrong with your database, it'll give you warnings. Uh, but what I want to show you today is how we can purge old data. So here I am inside the application. You see we've got databases to monitor. We've got other information uh, we can restore. But what I want to show you is how we can get rid of old data. So I'm going to create a brand new purge job. And I'm going to select the database that I want to use. And now it's going to give me all the tables that are in that database. And let's say I have a transaction table. And maybe I want to get rid of all the transactions that are seven years old. So I could just say transaction date is less than or equal to seven years and I'll pick that as my first criteria. The reason why I would pick that as my first criteria is because maybe I want to only do it where a particular transaction ID equals something, or maybe only for a certain user. But in this case, I'm going to say every transaction that occurred that's greater than seven years, I want to get rid of it. Save it, and you see what it does. It actually creates a SQL query for me. And you'll notice also it asks me delete top 1,000 rows. I could tell it, you know, delete 5,000 at a time. And now it'll save that. And now I can test that query and it'll run that query. Obviously, I don't have, well, maybe not obvious, but I don't have seven years of data, but I can execute that query. And you see it didn't delete anything because I don't have anything that old. Uh, but now that job is scheduled. It's scheduled because I told it in the configuration that I want to run the purge jobs every minute. I could tell it run the purge jobs every 10 minutes. And then if I save that, it's going to run that purge job every 10 minutes. And it'll run it every 10 minutes until it returns zero rows. Once it returns zero rows, it's going to stop running it for today. And then tomorrow, first thing, it'll start running it again. When it reaches the goal of nothing has been deleted, it stops running the job. So um, that's what I wanted to show you. Uh, however, uh, there are a few other ways we can do this. I could create a new job, and I could say I want it to be a, I'll pick my database, but I'll say custom SQL. Now I could actually type in here, delete, you know, from XXX. I don't know. It's a table that doesn't exist. But if I save that, See, it tells you you need a work clause where YYY equals HHH. It's a nonsense query. It doesn't, it's not going to do anything, but you see it created the query. And now I could schedule that job. So I can create a custom query also and have it run. So I can choose the wizard, pick a table select my criteria and it'll create the query for me or I could put in my own query and then when I save them they are uh, scheduled. Similarly I can now edit existing queries and then I can either delete them or change them. In this case I'm going to delete it. See now it's gone. And pretty much that's all I wanted to show you for now, I like to keep my videos nice and short. Um, however, one more thing. So you can download the DB Health Assist from our website. That's www.compliancebc.com. Notice how we've got a page dedicated to cleaning the database, right? 
but we also have a page dedicated to the health check and we've got a page dedicated to backing up your database it's all the same product download it from our site you get a free um, two-week trial I believe it says that here somewhere there's a video here that shows you how to install it and what to do and then after that it's only $99 for purchase and if it normally comes with uh, the ability to look at three SQL servers and maybe 15 databases but if you need to uh, work with more than three 15 databases if you need to do a hundred uh, and you need to do five or six different SQL servers just give us a call and we'll set the license special for you we you know we're not here to uh, you know lock you into certain terms that was just the default so that's it over and out Tom Romeo from practical compliance solutions that's PCS and I hope you enjoyed our short little video